Aloha, welcome to Be Dazzle Hawaii. Today we're going to be making waterfall cascade earrings. I'm using two kinds of Swarovski crystals. They are two times AB and also a new chrysolite opal, which is a regular color. And I'm using sterling silver findings. And these are the sizes of crystals we're using today. So let me get started. I have a 26 gauge head pin. I'm going to start from the bottom, working my way upward. So I start with my smallest crystal. It's a three millimeter. And I top it off with a daisy spacer. I'm using my three step plier to make what we call an eddy loop. I grip the tip with the first step of the pin and I'm going to loop it around and keep moving my plier until I make what looks like a little split ring at the tip of the pin, two times completely around. And I'm going to use a plier to just give it a gentle squeeze. Make sure it's tight and harden it a little bit. I'm going to lay that down with a loop going away from me. My next crystal is going to be added. It's a four millimeter and a daisy. And then I'm going to insert it. into my first crystal, into my loop of the first crystal, and then grip the pin. And notice I'm twisting away from myself to make that loop twice around. And I wait until I see the little, the little tip of the pin facing me. And then out and press. So you'll notice I'm starting my zigzag pattern. The loops are going away from me right now. Crystal three is another four millimeter. And I'm going to zigzag that through my pin. Once I pick it up, it doesn't matter which way the the crystals are facing as long as I turn my loop away from me each time. And that's going to automatically stagger my loops. Next, a two times AB, four millimeter crystal. Insert, twist, Another four millimeter, two times AB. Insert, twist. So I keep going with my crystals. I, cr 
create my loops by turning them away from me also. This is another five millimeter bicone. Last few are six millimeter. And of course, because we're using different sizes of crystals, but stopping our loops at two twists each. As you use a larger crystal, the neck of your pin is going to be shorter. crystal and you can see we have a zigzag pattern now when we attach this to our ear wire we're actually going to turn this all around so that now our loops are facing forward because when you hang it on the ear wire they're going to automatically turn that way so we want to work with gravity so now that our loops are all facing upward, forward, we're going to insert our ear wire from the front into that top loop. Use our plier to twist the ear wire closed. Make sure it's straight. And you'll notice right there, everything twisted, turned around so that our loops are going forward and our crystals are nicely lined up. And this is a cascade that's going to swing around depending on where you're moving. There's our waterfall crystal cascades. All these materials can be purchased at Bedazzle Hawaii. Thank you.